welcome back to another video so today i'm actually going to be doing a pamper afternoon because i wear makeup all the time like literally if i could show you all my makeup i actually would i wear it every day so obviously my skin doesn't really get a rest apart from when i do pamper it so i think it's really really important to use like creams face masks mists and sprays things like that on your face and I actually think watching all the pamper videos on YouTube are actually really, you know, like, they're enjoyable and they, I watch them all the time. So the very first thing I'm going to be using is the Lakeura 3-in-1 Cleansing Facial Wipes for Dry Skin. And they're with Sweet Almond Oil. The packaging is actually a bit bad, as I know, because I took them on holiday with me, but honestly, they are the best. I think they're actually from Aldi, so not even expensive, and they smell absolutely amazing they smell like soap kind of but they're really really nice and they're really soft so yeah i also find that the pre-mark ones are really good and along with the home bargains ones and the home bargains ones they have like hell of a of, uh, hell of a variety and they also smell amazing but these ones are my favorite Ugh. It's literally like 12. Oh my god, it's not even 12, it's 20 past 3. And I've done so much today. Literally so much. This wipe is actually orange. Orange and black. <laughs> so next I'm gonna go in with a cotton pad and buy my cell of water. I got, oh, I got like three bottles and put it in there because I thought it'd last longer and it actually did. It actually comes out really good as well. <laughs> Ignore my fucking, sorry, my bags. I have absolute bags for days. So I'm just going in with a micellar water to try and get any sort of excess makeup that I wasn't able to get to. So it's not that bad. Like, compared to the makeup wipe, it's nowhere near as bad. So, for the next part of my routine, I'm going in with a T-Zone Skincare Charcoal Nose Pore Strip. And I oh, I actually got these in, like, a big bulk together, which is really good. And I think they only cost me, like, £2. And they're really good. So, that's just what it looks like. If you've never used them before, you basically just put it on your nose. And it pulls out all like the blackheads and things like that. So I'm supposed to wet your nose first. So I've got a wet cotton pad here. Just so it actually sticks. Because my skin, I don't know, it's not really oily. So I don't find it like easy for it to stick. So I'm just peeling it. Oh my gosh, I'm literally using the camera as a mirror. And this is obviously not going very well. Is it on? Let's hope it's on. So since I had the pore strip on, I was thinking it'd probably be a good, uh, a good, uh, a better idea to do my face mask now, so I can like leave them both on for a decent amount of time. Then, so first of all, I'm just gonna my hair is so long, so I'm literally just gonna clip the front bits back. Although they literally just popped out. Oh my gosh, I look like I've just been dragged through a bush. But there we go. So this is actually my favourite, favourite face mask. It's a L'Oreal Paris Pure Clay Soothing Mask and it smells amazing. It's such a pretty colour as well. I don't think that, that before my camera decided to die on me, I was saying it's a really nice mask. It's really affordable. I think it's about £15. And it's, it says it's hydrating on the actual bottle, the bottle, the packaging as well as soothing which i think is really really important in a mask because you don't really want to have a mask and it's going to dry your skin out i always use this uh ubo brush to put my masks on that's why it's vile as you can see it's just a really pretty color and i just thought no i've got the pole strip on so why not put the mask on because I don't have to put it over my nose then because honestly I make a hell of a mess putting face mask over my nose I don't know why I make such a mess but obviously I'm just not all there So 
so we're still waiting for the face mask to dry i'm actually going to talk about one of my favorite products ever this is a soap and glory melty talented dry skin balm you can use it for your lips your hair elbows knees cuticles it smells amazing it's coconut and almond mango butter and it's got vitamin e in it it looks like a big big lip balm i use it as a lip balm most of the time but like when i have try sort of elbows things like that it's really good for you isn't it like that so i'm actually just gonna put some on my lips and it instantly just makes them feel so much more hydrated it's so good and it lasts so long it's really cheap really really cheap i'm trying to think of a price to tell you but i can't actually think off the top of my head but i remember buying it and i was like whoa that is so cheap for what it actually is but yeah it's a different sort of consistency to a lip balm it's a little bit more greasy but i don't mind that because i think it makes you feel like it's better for your lips than if you get me so i'm actually gonna go ahead and take this pole strip off i'm absolutely dreading it because i am a wimp and i'm scared of the pole strip but we're just gonna do it anyway eyes will probably be watering i can already feel them a punct of water but we'll just go with it oh do you know it's not even that bad like i don't know if you can see but there's not really anything on it i've never really suffered with blackheads but i still like to sort of do it now and again just to make sure that my skin is still feeling fresh so i think the mask's been on for about 20 25 minutes now so i'm gonna go ahead and take it off I always use my cellar water to take my masks off. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But I feel, I feel like it's nicer to your skin than water when you're using masks. So now that the mask is off, my skin is feeling so, so soft. And it actually feels quite silky. I don't know. So the next thing I'm going to use, this is my favourite, like more favourite than the mask, is the Mario Badescu Skin Care Facial Spray with Cucumber and Green Tea. It's literally nearly gone by Rational on Christmas because I actually don't think I can live without this scent in my life. It's like the best smell ever. So you're actually supposed to apply this before moisturiser. I like a good few sprays of it, but it's kind of hard to do that when it's running out. Obviously, I can't talk, I just <laughs> I just love it, I'm actually indulged with it right now but it's amazing and again it's really affordable, I think it's like £8 so the next thing and the very last thing actually that I'm going to go in with is the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturiser which is oil free it's really really good this moisturises and helps prevent spots and blemishes so with the moisturisers I actually just like to do a dot everywhere and this is really helping me right now because I don't know if you can see but I've actually got two like blemishes under my skin I don't know where they've come from but they just appeared one day and obviously they want to stay which I'm not happy about <laughs> so I've just been using this spot cream every day and night and I also think it's really important to moisturize between makeup and before and after makeup because I think it just really helps your skin breathe to be honest some people may disagree with me and say you're not supposed to put anything on it but this is just what personally works for me so that is actually the end of our video and please comment below if you have any video suggestions or absolutely any ideas for my channel thank you very much for watching